Running Maxwell on the right machine can be a really nice experience. And running Maxwell on the wrong machine can be a really awful experience. So we're going to talk about hardware. And when we talk about hardware, it really begins and ends with the processor, or as we like to think in the Maxwell community, processors, because as many processors as you have is how many Maxwell is going to use when it's rendering. So the more cores and the more threads, the better. For that reason, the i7 processors from Intel have been the darlings of the Maxwell boards for quite some time. And obviously, if you can afford to have a dual i7 motherboard, then that's probably even better because then you're talking about some serious processing power. And that's really what it's all about with Maxwell. If you want Maxwell to run faster, it really begins and ends with processors. And if you think about it, a render node license is $500. And for that same $500, you could easily buy a motherboard and a second i7 processor and get effectively your second computer right then and there. So that may be another option for you instead of having to go ahead and create a render node type situation where you're doing a network. Now, if you have a bunch of computers already and they're all strong and powerful, then why not do render nodes? But if you have to choose between buying a render node or upgrading your hardware to have more processing power, then obviously upgrading your hardware is the better decision in my opinion. That said, you also have to be concerned about RAM. The more that you want to render, meaning size or quantity of objects in a scene, the more Maxwell is going to use RAM. So if you're rendering a large pixel dimension image, then it's going to use a lot of RAM. And if you're rendering an image that has lots of geometry in it, then it's going to need lots of RAM. And if you're doing both, well, then your computer is going to be crying for mercy and more RAM. So obviously, RAM is another thing that you want to be concerned about. And because of that, 64-bit operating systems are very heavily preferred in the Maxwell community. The other thing that you want to take into consideration with Maxwell, but it's not as critical as it is with some of the other render engines that are going over to a GPU-type workflow, is that of the video card. And when I talk about video cards for a professional user, I'm talking about the NVIDIA Quadro or the ATI Fire Pro. They're really your only two choices, in my opinion, for doing professional level work, which is the type of work that Maxwell's made to do. So when you talk about those two, what you're talking about also tends to be GPU processing power. And in most render engines, that would be how they're going to go ahead and get their processing powers by utilizing the multiple cores on a GPU for your video card. Maxwell has a real-time preview engine that they are going to bring out in the next few months. They've already demoed it, and it looks really good. And they've told us one thing about it, and that is that it's not necessarily GPU. That It may leverage the GPU for certain tasks, but it really is all about the processor. So again, get as many processor cores and as many threads into your machine as you possibly can, because that's going to make all the difference in the world between Maxwell running like lightning and Maxwell running slow as a snail. Now, outside of the case, we need to take into consideration two things. The first is a three button mouse. That's really a necessity for working in studio. And you'll find that life is an awful lot easier if you have one. Now, you can have more than three buttons, but you need to have at least three buttons on your mouse. The other thing that's worth considering always whenever you're working with your eyes is you really want a high quality monitor and you definitely want to have it color calibrated so that you can see what you're doing and accurately know what's going to happen with it in whatever medium you're going to work with it, whether it be animation and video or whether it be print. It's very, very important to treat your eyes right, especially in a field where that's what we use to judge whether or not we did a good job.